to use this video, you're going to need this table. If you don't have that table, go and get one. Okay, so let's say you popped your Lewis diagram down and you notice that there are five regions of electron density around a central atom. When that happens, you know that your parent shape will be trigonal by pyramid. Let's say all those regions are bonding regions of electron density. This means your shape is trigonal by pyramid. Now, why is it called trigonal by pyramid? Well, because if you look along the flat plane of this shape, it's actually based on a triangle. And then if you look along the vertical bits, it looks like there's a pyramid going up and a pyramid going down. So there's a triangular pyramid going up and a second one going down. So by pyramid means two pyramids. Now, if you were to work out the angles for these, it's probably pretty obvious that in the flat plane where this triangle is, it's bound to be 120 degrees because you've got three things spread out as far as you can. And then that means that I'll across the vertical um, part of this shape, this means that you're left with 90 degrees. Now, moving across one, let's say if you did still have five regions of electron density, but this time you've got a lone pair, to remember this shape, I want you to think of replacing uh, those regions of bonding electrons with the lone pairs as you're moving across. So when I go ahead and do that, I can see that in the flat plane, that angle was still going to be roughly 120 degrees. And as for the vertical part, well, that's still going to stay at about 90 degrees. As for what this shape looks like, well, if I do some uh, mental manipulation, I can see that it looks like a seesaw. And that's why we call it a seesaw, because it looks like a seesaw. Now, as we go across to another one, five regions as well, just like before, as we're replacing these regions with lone pairs, uh, I want you to take them away from the flat plane. And when we do that, this leaves you with a shape that looks a bit like this. As for the angles in that, well, it's pretty much still 90 degrees over there. And as for the shape, well, that looks like a T. Surprise, we call it T-shape. Let's say you still had five regions of electron density, but this time you had three lone pairs. And just like before, we replaced the bonding regions from the triangular plane uh, with lone pairs of electrons. And you can see that all I'm left with now is the uh, bonds in the vertical direction. This means the only thing I could possibly have as a shape is linear. And the only angle I have left is 180 degrees.